Hello again YouTube, Carl Belcher here. Today I'm doing a EDC keychain update. Um, I'm not going to go through my full EDC setup with you right now, but I'd like to show you a couple updates I've made to my keychain. If you watched my previous videos, you probably saw that I was carrying the Boker Toucan key tool. And prior to that, I've been carrying a Victorinox Classic and Gerber Shard. Uh, both the Shard and the Toucan, um, I have taken off my keys currently because I feel like they're both pretty sharp and pokey. Uh, the shard is really sharp and pokey with the Phillips on the back here and the bent up tip. It's not very comfortable in pocket. Uh, the primary problem with the Boker, there again it has some sharp edges, but overall it's just size. This Kydex sheath is very large. Uh, you can see compared to the shard, it's a pretty meaty thing to have on your keys. I may re-add it at some point if I feel like I need a better bottle opener, but I'm considering a the Victorina or the Boker access tool uh, to add to this instead because it's a little more keychain friendly than this. I've been wearing this as a neck knife on and off and I kind of like it. So we'll see if I can keep it in that role and I'll let you know in my next EDC update video whether I decide to keep it in that role or not. So I decided to replace both of those and just go with a Leatherman Squirt PS4. Uh, I put it on a little true utility clip here so I can easily remove it if I want to use it for any tasks. If you're not familiar with the PS4, this is an awesome little subcompact multi-tool. The only downside I really have to this one is, first of all, it's kind of weighty for a keychain, and the blade on it is chisel ground, but I can deal with that. Keep in mind, none of the implements lock. To me, it's not a big, not a big deal, but to some people it may be. This also has a two-sided file on the outside. Over here, you have a cap lifter slash flip, or flathead screwdriver, which I like. This is a Phillips screwdriver slash kind of small flathead there. And last but not least, a pair of nice little small scissors. And those function really well. They're almost as good as the Victorinox ones, which are extremely high quality. And of course, the PS4 opens up, like any other Leatherman, into a set of needle nose pliers. These are spring acting pliers. They're actually very high quality for their size. Um, I wouldn't expect them to be as capable as they are for their size, but they're very good. I find that the even are precise enough to work in somewhat of a tweezer roll, which is something I lost when I got rid of the Victorinox uh, Classic. They also have a very strong wire cutter, which does a pretty good job um, compared to some of the other wire cutters I found. Uh, the only problem I have with these is they are a bit heavy, but not really any heavier than the Boker Toucan was. On my keychain, I still have my Phoenix EO1, as I've had before. Uh, I use this particular flashlight because I like that it takes a standard AAA. Uh, it only has one mode. It's not incredibly bright, but it's pretty good for everyday carry. And it fits on the keychain well. It's also, to me, I like it a lot better than something like a Photon or an LED lenser. Because of the standardized battery, I don't feel as bad using it because it's easier and less expensive to find replacement batteries for. Uh, I also put it on a true utility hook in case I want to remove it from my keys. Uh, here I still have my magnesium fire starter. This piece up on top here is ferrocium rod, and this piece down here below is magnesium. If you're not familiar with how these work, I'm going to be doing some survival videos here in the future, and I'll be demonstrating uh, the function of this for you pretty soon. So look forward to that. Um, I also have the same old aircraft cable, MSA mold keys. I did keep the Kensington flash drive on here, still holding up pretty well. As you can see, it got a little bent and I had to bend it back out, but it survived that well intact. So anyway, that's just a quick update to my keychain EDC. Uh, I will be doing a full EDC update again here pretty soon. I'm just in the process of making some changes to it. I want to make sure they're going to stick for a while before I give you an update on them. So definitely subscribe for that. Make sure to like the videos and share with your friends. Thanks again. This is Carl Belcher.